Okay, so in this particular video, we are going to make what's commonly known as a wet palette. You can buy them off Amazon and they come with sponges and papers and all that kind of thing. But it's expensive and I don't have a lot of money. So uh, this is a sandwich box. It's not massive. I've tried to get something a little bit thinner than this. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, this is the biggest I could get, the uh, smallest I could get. And it comes with a rubber seal inside, which may or may not focus. There we go. That rubber seal will keep it airtight, which is perfect because it means the water won't evaporate. The lid off to the one side and this. So you're going to need some bog standard kitchen roll and move that out of the way. Might need those. So we're going to measure and see roughly where the edges are. So here I am. I'm just folding everything up. I've got such a tiny table, it's unreal. And I will be using two sheets of paper towel to uh, be the sponge uh, in my impromptu wet palette. So there we go, another one there. And I'll put them so they're opposite each other, so they lay flat. Add in water and uh, I was a little bit too much, but when you think it's too much, it never is. It's never enough. So moving on to our actual palette palette. So this is going to be, this is baking parchment. I bought it off Amazon. I think it was about four quid. Uh, there's a lot in there. So I'll be using it to cook as well, which is nice. Um, it's a huge pack and uh, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of handy. It's a handy pack. So just take a small sheet, lay it out grab your box it should be soaked now um, you just lay it out draw around it and what you're trying to sort of aiming for is what I'm doing here is putting it into the corner um, it saves waste keep what you don't use you can use it for a lot of different things just uh, draw around cut it out cut it a little bit smaller than it should actually be because when it goes in there it's going to suck up the water and stretch and you get all these wrinkly bits and you don't want the wrinkly bits, not really. So I'm going to add some more water um, to try and get the paper to soak up a bit quicker. Uh, you can see it curling a little bit because um, if even if you add too much water you can always get rid of it. You can always tip it out and squeeze it out like I will be doing shortly. There we go, just making sure it's all wet. Using my fingers to feel if it's wet, and it is. <laughs> so I'm just pushing all of the wrinkles out as best as I can. It's difficult, it is hard, but there is extra water and I'm just going to tip it just straight back into the jug. Because this is my painting water for the session. <laughs> and let it come out a bit more, just squeeze it out as much as you can. You want it, you want it moist. I'm not going to say damp, but I'm going to say moist. But you don't want it swimming. You don't want it swimming because otherwise you're going to end up with floating paint and that's a bad thing. So I'm just going to show you, you can use it like a normal palette. You just literally just add drops of paint to the palette and the wet of the palette will keep them moist. They'll keep them hydrated because what happens when you just squeeze it onto a paper plate or something is obviously the air sucks the moisture out, it evaporates and you get crusty paints and nobody wants crusty paints. So this palette is brilliant. It keeps everything wet, it keeps everything moist. Happy days. <laughs> 